and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today I wanted to make a small update uh, to the uh, previous tutorial I've made about how to uh, make the wings bounce on semaphore signals. Um, what it turned out uh, for me was uh, when I tried to do it on additional signals, it seemed to work sometimes and not other times and so on. So I was struggling a little with this. Um, so what I did figure out was it's much easier if you uh, turn it into uh, DCC mode, program it, and then turn it back into Macklin mode. So here I got uh, two signals. I got a distant signal here, a distant semaphore signal, and a home semaphore signal uh, behind it uh, with three aspects. We can uh, look at the uh, mobile station 2. It's actually address 10 and 11 for these signals. So I can use red, green on address 10, and I can use the green on address 11 for proceed slowly. So if I change the signal now to green, then we see it has the smooth movement without the bouncing. I change it back to red, still smooth movement, and the same when I go to yellow. All right, so what can we do and what is the little trick here? Well, first of all, remember, go into stop mode so there's no powers to the signals. And do remember when you program, you should only have one signal on the track. So I'm going to disconnect uh, the distance signal here. I'm going to take a look at uh, the home signal. Um, what I want to do is turn it into DCC mode so we Take the home signal off. We look at the dip switch we have here. And then remember from the manual, the last one, number 10, is actually the one we uh, changed the mode on. Let me just double check. So if we have the uh, manual here, you see the last one here, number 10, is the one where we can change between DCC and Macklin. So what I want to do now is put it in DCC mode, program it, and then put it back into Macklin mode. And from the previous video, we remember this is CV39 we want to look at, and I want to put it to the value 3. All right. Lots of things to remember. I have the signal here. I have the dip switch here, so I basically want to put the latest one here, or the last one, number 10, to on. It's always a little difficult with these ones here because it's, uh, it's hard to get to. So I turn this one to on. Did I get that? Yeah. Now you can see number 10 is on. So now I'm in DCC mode. Now I'm going to program it as that. So I reattach the signal. Okay. Oh, I turned it the wrong way. Let me just reattach it like this. Reattach it to the C track again. We look at the signal. I'm in stop mode. I go out of stop mode. I just verify that if it still works, so I can use the red green again on address 10. And you see here when I press the red and green, nothing happens because I actually put it into DCC mode. So I want to do the programming now. I do that by finding an empty locomotive spot. I hit shift locomotive to program, to add a locomotive, I should say. I go in into manually. I continue down till I find DCC, I click DCC, and now I want address 10, so we choose address 10, I hit the check mark, I don't care about the name, I just assign it a symbol. We got locomotive here, the only thing I need to do with that really is to hit shift wrench, or shift locomotive I should say down here, uh, then I can go into program CV. I needed to change address 39. Remember, I can use these buttons, so I can use the knob as well. So let me go to 39, that's 40, I go one back. And now I can hit the check mark. 
The good thing is, as you saw, it said it, the value is being read. So the good thing about being in DCC mode is I can actually see also what the value is. So now I can go and change it to value three as I want it. I can hit check mark and now it's programmed. Okay. Um, now, again, when I go back here, it will not change the uh, signal since I'm in DCC mode and it will send it out here in Macklin mode. So I go back and do the stop. So power off. I take the signal off again and I change the dip switch. So let me just show it again here. I go and find number 10, which is the last one here. And I basically turn it off and you can see it's off again here at the end. Okay. We uh, mount the signal again. We take our central station take it out of stop mode and now we can try uh, the green one here I'm gonna do it off camera and you saw that it bounced now we go to red it bounces again and we go to proceed slowly and you see it bounces so it's a lot easier here if we actually go to DCC mode first and uh, of course we can do the uh, same thing with the distant signal so that it will also bounce. So off camera, I did the same to the uh, distance signal here. So basically uh, put it on the track alone. Um, with power off, I changed the dip switch to DCC. Then I powered on. Then I used the mobile station to change the CV value. Then I powered off and then I uh, put it back into Macklin mode and as you'll see now, now we have uh, both the signals uh, bouncing as we would like. So I'm going to click uh, on the uh, mobile station 2 on address 10 on the green to turn the signals green. And we see uh, that both of them actually uh, bounced. I'm going to go back to red. All right. And then I'm going to go to uh, proceed slowly. And we see everything uh, bounces nicely as uh, we like. Excellent! If you like this video, please hit the like button and please do uh, subscribe to the channel. Enjoy!